Hey, it's Pastor Steve here with the word of hope that I trust will give you strength and courage as you enter what is for most of us the second week of this coronavirus crisis. It was a week ago Thursday that the governor of the state of Ohio announced school closings, other closings, restrictions that of course have continued to grow in this last week. So it's been just over a week. I know it seems longer since this got real for most of us. I know that many of you use the daily text as a way to shape your time with the Lord each day. And I thought the text for today were especially helpful uh, as we enter this second week. One from the Old Testament, one from the New Testament. First, Psalm 27 verse 5 says this, The Lord will hide me in his shelter on the day of trouble. He will conceal me under the cover of his tent. We are hearing a lot these days of sheltering in place. And I think that's important to pay attention to, certainly. But we have to remember that our greatest shelter is the Lord. It's not our house or home or some other place of safety. It is the Lord who provides us shelter, especially in times of trouble, which, of course, we are in. Let's remember to turn to him above all else and trust him above all else. That gives us peace and hope during these times. The second verse is from the New Testament letter of 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10, where the Apostle Paul wrote this. Therefore, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and calamities for the sake of Christ. For whenever I am weak, then I am strong. Now, I'm re not ready to say that I'm content with what's going on here in our culture and in the world. I'm sure you're not. You're facing maybe some anxiety of what the future brings, maybe some difficulty as you're restricted to things that places that you can't go anymore. Uh, you're feel like you're locked in your house sometimes, it can be hard, certainly. So we're not content with that. Certainly not content with this virus that is beginning now to kill people, make people very sick. But what that verse is teaching is that when we are in times of weakness, maybe those times when we are strongest because of what the Lord is doing in us and through us. That in those times of scarcity, the Lord provides abundance in an amazing measure. If you haven't done so already, I want to encourage you to join us this Sunday when we're going to have two worship services, one traditional at nine o'clock and one contemporary at 11 both online. You can't come to the church to experience them because of the restrictions we have. But you can join us online. Go to our website, stlukecolumbus.com, and you can follow one of the tabs there that says Media, and you can join one of those worship services. If you haven't done that, please do that. Pastor Mike is going to preach a, an amazing sermon this week about how God provides in abundance when we are in times of scarcity, which we certainly are in right now. And I think you'll be encouraged from that. And invite someone else, maybe who doesn't have a church connection or whose church doesn't have an online opportunity at this point to join you. Just give them the information. Say, you can just sit in your house and watch this. This is maybe an opportunity for people who've not sure they want to actually walk into church to begin to connect with the faith community. It's an opportunity to do some reaching out in an organic way. I want to close with the prayer that is also for the daily text today that I think, again, speaks right to where we're at. If you would pray with me. God, my refuge and fortress, thank you for the peace that you give me by hiding and covering me in times of danger. Forgive me when I slip out from under your covering and try to care for myself without your protection. 
Help me today to bring someone under your shelter. Amen. My dear ones, remember this, that you are under the shelter of the Most High God in this time of trouble. And invite someone else to know the peace and hope of that shelter. Stay connected, St. Luke.